Hi, this is hypnotherapist John Morgan. Of all the hypnosis and guided meditation recordings I've created over the years, this one, Hypnosis for Dogs, was the biggest international seller. We took orders from all corners of around globe. What I took that to mean was that the one thing we had in common with our international neighbors was our love for dogs. There are three recorded tracks on this video. The first is an explanation of how Hypnosis for Dogs came to be and the science behind why it's so effective. The second track is Music and Voice, and it's to be used when you listen together with your dog. The final track is Music Only, and it's designed to play on loop when you have to leave your dog unattended at home while you're out and about. The music was created to calm the nervous system of dogs, and it works on we humans too. Note, this recording is effective for all animals. In fact, I have correspondence from one woman who plays it in her stables and reports how calming it is on her horses. So I invite you to listen to Hypnosis for Dogs right now. Hi, this is dog lover and hypnotherapist John Morgan. My area of expertise for over a quarter of a century is with the phenomenon of hypnosis. Little did I realize that one day I would discover that the improvements my human clients were experiencing could also be realized by our beloved four-legged friends. Hypnosis is a method of communication that not only helps humans relax and calm down, but our dogs too. Perhaps a little story on my discovery about dogs would be helpful. Like many dog owners, I grew up with dogs. Seems like our family always had one. When I began my own family, we bought our boys a beagle puppy that we named Snuffy. We even have a video from the 80s of all of us gathered around the Christmas tree with our dog, singing a song called Snuffy the Black Nose Beagle. It was to the tune of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. We bring it out every Christmas and it brings back such warm memories of Snuffy. It was as an adult that I began to notice how smart dogs are. They understand words and they are especially sensitive to rhythms, vibrations, and tones of voice. We train Snuffy to respond to a bevy of words, including the word spaghetti. We could whip him into a frenzy and physically have him dancing to that word. He loves spaghetti. Back then, CDs were not yet available and I would record my hypnosis programs onto cassette tape. It was during the listening of these tapes that I began to notice that Snuffy responded like my human clients. He would go curl up and enter a state of relaxation when I played the tapes. He even relaxed more when I sat and stroked him to the rhythm of my voice on the recording. I didn't find out until many years later when watching Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer, that dogs prefer being stroked to being patted. The stroking, according to Milan, mimics how the mother licks her young. This stroking is very pleasurable and soothing for a dog. People began to compliment me on how well-behaved Snuffy was. I remember my dad visiting and feeding Snuffy something from his hand. He was somewhat amazed when he said, I've never seen a dog take food so gently. These type comments were too frequent and came from too many people to be mere happenstance. There was something besides our conditioning him to words that was contributing to Snuffy's relaxed demeanor. It was the hypnosis. Silly me, back then it never dawned on me that I could put out a recording to help other people's dogs. Well, our Snuffy went on to live a long, gentle, and happy life. And we all cried the day he died. Fast forward to a few years ago when I got a call from my son when I was on the road doing seminars. He and my grandson were living with me. He said, Dad, I want to get my boy a dog, a beagle just like Snuffy. I was a little apprehensive because of the care a dog would need, especially one that would be alone inside a good portion of the day. He said, Dad, I want my son to know the special feeling of having a dog. I couldn't resist. I said, You pick him out, I'll pay for him. It'll be my Christmas gift to your son. The interesting part of the story is that my grandson had decided to call him Snuffy because he remembered seeing the original Snuffy on the Christmas videos. Not only did he look like our old dog, he was born on the same day as the original Snuffy, October 16th. I knew the planets were totally aligned when I looked at the papers that came with the dog. He was born in Missouri, same as the first Snuffy. So, Snuffy became not only our new loving pet, but the training subject for this CD, hypnosis for dogs. I found that I could easily condition him to the tone and rhythm of my voice and to a number of key words like relax and calm down, said in a very gentle tone of voice. I also noticed that he seemed to be partial to a certain type of music to relax and curl up to. Maybe a story would be helpful. 
When I read, I like to put on classical music in the background. I began doing this when I found out about super learning back in the 80s. Research shows that specific classical music has an effect on our brains, and it helps us learn more quickly and absorb better. Snuffy, without instruction, became automatically calm when I played this type of music. I knew I was onto something. I did some research on my theory and personal experience and found out that animals are especially attuned to musical and vocal rhythms and keenly tuned into vibrations. Certain vibrations soothe an animal and others cause it to become alarmed. The deadly tsunami of 2004 in the Indian Ocean gave us deeper insight into the behavior of animals, large and small, during this catastrophe. Animals retreated to higher ground long before any human was aware this devastating wall of water was coming. From rodents to elephants, these creatures sensed alarming vibrations with their bodies, which caused them to scurry to safer havens. It was the fight-or-flight response in action. Famed cell biologist Bruce Lipton tells us that we are either in a state of fear and protection or in a state of joy, love, and growth. You can't be in both at the same time. According to Dr. Lipton, chronic stress is the biggest obstruction to our health and is related to most illnesses. It's easy to glean from Dr. Lipton's research that activities that promote relaxation also promote health and well-being in all animals at the cellular level. This is another way of saying that a relaxed dog is a healthier dog with a longer life expectancy. Additionally, psychoacoustic music research bears out my personal findings that dogs, as well as people, relax easily to specific classical music. These sounds, vibrations, and rhythms promote learning, relaxation, calm behavior, and therefore health. There is also amazing evidence that a specific classical music reduces the number of seizures that people with epilepsy have. They call it the Mozart effect. It's interesting to note that the process of hearing is the same in human beings and dogs. The scientific validation of my personal discovery that dogs relax to classical music and vocal rhythms was refreshing to read about. If you would like to learn more, buy a copy of the book Through a Dog's Ear by Joshua Leeds, a sound researcher, and Susan Wagner, a veterinary neurologist. Their research bears out my personal findings that slow, psychoacoustic classical music calms dogs and soothes their fears, including separation anxiety. When you add hypnotic vocal rhythms to the music, the relaxation results are even more effective. Sad to say it's a fact of modern life that dog owners have to leave their dogs unattended for many hours at a time. Countless people put on the Animal Planet channel on TV to keep their pet company while they're away. The well-intentioned hope is that the pet sounds coming from the TV will calm their dog. There is no research that supports this practice, yet it is widespread. There is research that the soothing vibrations and the sound of classical music and the calming rhythm of the voice help your dog to relax and calm down. In fact, relax and calm down are two hypnotic suggestions you will hear throughout this CD. Not only will your pet relax more when hearing this combination of music and voice, but after a little practice, your dog will begin to respond to the commands of relax and calm down especially when you say them in a gentle tone of voice. Now, our Snuffy, like most dogs, is troubled by thunderstorms. When I put hypnosis for dogs in the CD player, he relaxes within minutes as the storm rumbles by. It is highly recommended that you put track two of the CD on loop play when you leave your dog home alone for any extended period of time. That way, the CD can play throughout the day. Track 3 contains the specially orchestrated psychoacoustic music that you can play for relaxation for both you and your pet when time does not permit for you to close your eyes. Now, I know you bought this recording for your dog's health and well-being and as a training tool, but it is relaxing and therapeutic for you as well. My suggestion is that you listen to the CD with your dog for the first few times. I also recommend that for the first couple of minutes that you stroke your dog to the rhythm of my voice or to the rhythm of the music. It will help him or her relax even quicker. You can use the CD for your own benefit as well. A relaxed dog owner is a happy and healthy dog owner. You will find this CD very relaxing. Now, you may be familiar with the calming effects dogs have on the residents of retirement centers. Studies have shown time and again that dogs have a calming effect on the elderly, adding not only comfort, but extra days, months, or years to their life. Dogs are now being introduced in prisons to aid the calming of inmates. What wasn't fully realized until recently 
is that the same calming, life-extending effects can be enjoyed by your pet with the aid of hypnosis. It's all pretty fantastic stuff. Now, if you've ever attended one of my seminars, you may have heard me say, you can't eat a whole cow at once. It's a metaphorical way of communicating to be patient with the process. It may take more than a couple of listens for your pet to receive the full effect. Finally, some remarks about some of the words you will hear me say on the hypnosis portion of the CD on track two. Dogs are capable of learning many words and associating them with objects and behaviors. In fact, a German collie named Rico has been trained to respond to over 200 words. You will hear two conditioning words on this recording quite often. Relax and calm down. I have conditioned a number of dogs to those words, and with repetition, they sense the vibration of that phrase and perform the associated behavior on command. So I invite you now to get ready to listen to track two of Hypnosis for Dogs, and notice how quickly you and your dog relax and calm down. All right, let's get ready for you and your dog to relax comfortably. Relaxation is simply getting into another rhythm. One that is more conducive to Allow your mind and body to calm down now. And if you are listening to this recording with your dog, you can stroke their coat to the rhythm of my voice because it will activate the instinctive relaxing response they learn from when their mother Lick them as a pup. Dogs love to be stroked. And you can softly say the words, relax and calm down from time to time if you choose. As you listen to the soothing music and to the relaxing words that are on this recording, And it's nice to be able to take a few moments to just stop and take a rest. It's also very calming for both you and your dog to hear the relaxing words and music. And each time you listen, you'll be able to relax more easily and faster than the time before. And by listening to this recording for the first few times with your dog, you are training your pet to relax and calm down. And each time you play this recording, you repeatedly condition your dog to the words relax and calm down which will be said many times throughout this soothing hypnotic experience. And your pet will respond to those words even more effectively when you say them in a gentle tone of voice. And you may want to begin to notice your breathing now. Just notice how it comes in and how it goes out. What does your stomach do when you breathe? What does your chest do when you breathe? And when you breathe in, where do you notice it first?
and when you exhale. Where do you notice it last? And before I mentioned your breathing, you may not have been thinking about it, but you may be thinking about it now. That's a suggestion. Just like the words, relax and calm down, are suggestions. And you may have already noticed that your breathing has calmed down. And if you pay even more careful attention, you'll notice that your dog's breathing has slowed down too. And become more rhythmic as well. And as you relax even more. Your dog will sense that calming sensation in you and feel even more comfortable and relaxed around you. Because a relaxed dog owner makes it even easier for their dog to relax and calm down. And if you haven't already closed your eyes, you don't have to close them now. You can just let your eyelids meet each other for a moment. And you may notice your eyes can really appreciate a good rest. And as you Allow your eyes to rest even more now. You begin to notice a sense of calm spread throughout your entire body. It may begin in the toes or in the heels. And for some it's a very heavy feeling. Others report a light sensation. And some people even notice a tingling or slight numbness in your feet. And of course, I don't know which foot it will begin in first. But whatever that sensation is for you, notice it and appreciate it because it's your own sense of relaxation that will move throughout your body when it's ready. Not because I say so, or because you allow it to happen now, but it will happen when your body is ready to relax and calm down even more. And as you continue to listen to the sound of my voice and to the soothing music, that relaxation sensation will move at its own pace through all the muscles and bones in your foot. Each foot on up through the ankle into the calf muscles and shins, all the way up to the knees, and it's so pleasant to know that you can relax and calm down now, just by giving yourself permission to relax and calm down. And that sensation of relaxation will move through the backs of your knees. And into your hamstring muscles. As you give them and all the muscles in your thighs 
permission to relax now. It's so reassuring to know that you can allow your body to relax even more. And let that sensation of relaxation move through your hips. Right up into your buttocks muscles. Yes, even your butt muscles can relax now. And as you continue to hear the hypnotic sound of the music and the rhythm of my voice, and as you feel the resting surface beneath you, your body continues to relax even more as that relaxation moves through your groin. up into your abdominal muscles and through your stomach muscles right up into your chest muscles as you breathe easier now and that sensation of relaxation at its own pace, moves through the collarbone area and that feeling of relaxation in the stomach can move round and through the small of your back, moving up along the spine as all those tiny muscles along the spinal column soak in all that relaxation just like a thirsty sponge soaks up water and the larger muscles in your back can unwind now all because you have given yourself permission to relax and calm down. And as you continue to listen to the soothing music and the rhythm of my voice, that feeling of relaxation naturally moves through all the muscles in your shoulders. Downward through your upper arm. as your biceps, triceps, and elbows relax now. And that sensation of relaxation drifts downward through your forearms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers and you can allow any tension to drain off your fingertips just like a warm shower drains off your fingertips just like steam escapes from an iron and if you've ever put a stick of butter into a heated frying pan or skillet. You can allow any tension to just melt and fade away now. All because you allow yourself the freedom and opportunity to relax and calm down now. And that sense of relaxation when it's ready moves up along the neck and throat muscles. And if you need to swallow, that's okay. And that relaxation continues 
up and through the back of your skull into the top of your head. And that feeling of relaxation moves gently through your temples, across your forehead, downward into your eyes, your cheeks, your mouth, your jaw, as your lips part and your tongue relaxes now. And it's nice to know that you, along with your dog, can relax from head to toe. It's such a special feeling to be able to relax and absorb suggestions, ones that are appropriate for you. And as the calming music plays on, you will hear me say the words, relax and calm down, from time to time. so that you and your dog can feel the warmth and vibration of those gentle commands. And it's okay for both of you to relax together, because you will share a common bond with your dog when you relax together. And even if you just play this recording for your dog, when he or she is unattended, they will absorb the relaxing vibrations in the words and music. And as the music continues to play, you may hear relaxing suggestions pop in from time to time. For you, and your dog. So just drift along with the music now as you relax even more deeply. And you may even want to set an intention for yourself now, one that you can allow your subconscious mind to work on as you just drift with the music. Relax. Calm down. Mm -hmm. 
relax and calm down. Calm down. And when you feel that you've done enough relaxing this time around, you can just refresh yourself and feel awake, alert, and recharged. Or, if you choose to continue to relax, you can do that too. You decide what choice is best for you now. 